for the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins on the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff out the Mad Cheese, as always. Got some passing plays for you guys today out of a brand new offense and a brand new playbook. I've been recently messing around a little bit with the Kansas City Chiefs because I was thinking about making that the next playbook that I do. A lot of people have been requesting that. Them, the Seahawks, a couple different playbooks. Uh, so, as always, let me know in the comment section what offense you guys want me to do next. But I found a really glitchy, really rare formation that I put out part one from yesterday a bunch of run plays that you guys definitely should check out link in the description below the formation itself is the wing flex close and today we're going to focus on the pass plays two pass plays in particular the pa flood which you can see i average about 36 yards of play let's go and let's put these plays uh, in our audibles as always which i've already done the pa flood is going to be a home run against just about every single defense other than cover four uh, and then that's where the booty wide sale is going to come in then you also have the spacing which has got a bunch of good man beaters and the wide receiver under these two plays i'm going to save uh, for my ebooks and for my uh patreon community and my join out community tab and stuff like that if you guys want to see a full breakdown of this offense all the plays Woo! in one video hit the like button let me know in the comment section i'll put that out maybe on a saturday or something like that in the future other than that let's go and let's get right into it we're going to start off with the PA flood and on the defensive side we're going to start off with cover two like we always do now as always this video is brought to you by my coin sponsors at aoeah.com if you guys want to get your mutt team up with all the new promos dropping anyone support this channel at the same time all you have to do is check them out link in the description below use discount code money to get three percent off what's always the cheapest coins on the market now when it comes to cover two um, we, you know, pretty much every play is going to be the receivers over here. It's going to be either Brown or DeVerne on just about every uh, defense that we go against. I'm pretty much going to make the same adjustments every time too, which is I'm going to put the B route here on a streak. But all we're going to do against cover two, motion this guy out. I'm going to put the A route on a streak just to give myself an extra option, although you really don't have to do that. But against cover two, neither one of these routes really gets covered. The B route is going to be wide open right over the middle. As you can see, the, the safety basically has to split his attention between the two receivers as we get a 50-yard bomb. And the B route's going to be open too. So you really have your option. Like I said, it's a super quick play too. I mean, I don't really have to hold the ball too long. I like to cancel my play action, but ultimately you can see Brown's going to be open out here too. Although there we got caught, pressure got in my face a little bit. I threw a little bit early, but you're going to see how both of these routes, especially if you run it from a hash mark like I'm doing, both of these routes are going to be open against cover two for an easy one play touchdown. So let's go and let's do that one more time. Like I said, that RB route there is really what makes this guy get open over the middle. I'll go to the replay. Let's go and let's go watch this guy right here. He's the mid read. He drops back on it pretty nice. Does a pretty good job of undercutting it, and then you can see immediately his attention is turned to that underneath route. So you're watching this guy. If it's a user, obviously you're watching the user, but you can see the second he slows down for the underneath route, that's when the balls leave my hand. I just wait for his head to turn, and I know that he's not. I mean, number one, he's behind anyway, but number two, just bullet pass lead away from the uh, the safety on the left, and you're good. The cornerbacks, when it comes to cover two, do a much better job of following back these routes. But that's not going to matter because ultimately I'm going to have success with this outside route too as this guy's not going to hang with him. He's going to eventually turn his attention. And I might not get a one-play touchdown there, but you can see I still get a very explosive play. So the, the X route or the B route rather is where the uh, the user probably has a better chance of being, but they'll probably cover the short stuff anyway. So you really have the B route, which is probably the most play against cover or most explosive play against cover two, and then the X route here, which hopefully we get past him this time. There, boom, we get that one play touchdown outside against him as well. As you can see, both of these plays score against what really is the meta defense in my opinion right now, which is cover two zone. Now, if that's all this play did, I think it'd be a pretty good play. But let's go and let's pick that again. And we're going to do cover three this time. So we're going to go with cover three sky. Now, the only difference when it comes to cover two and cover three is you have to put the B route on a fade, not a streak. That's going to make a huge difference. I also like the motion snap Watkins sometimes because I feel like that will uh, keep the cornerback down. But you can see here, this fade just does a much better job of getting past than a streak. I'll show you what it looks like when you do the streak. But you can see that's a really easy one play touchdown there. Number one, when you do the fade, he runs around the zone chuck a lot better. Typically on a streak, they just run right through it and they just get, they lose all their acceleration. This one here just kind of slips right past and I don't lose acceleration, which is important. Number two, if you look at this receiver out here, what he does to the cornerback, the cornerback immediately reacts outside because this is a glitch that's been in the game for a long time where the, where the, the, the wheel routes on these receivers a lot of times, you can just throw it underneath. So it reacts to that and it basically creates the uh, the separation or the, the throw over the top top to this guy right up the seam as you can see even the even the safety he kind of runs right past so like i said i'll do it with the streak just to show you guys it won't have that result so we're going to do it again 
So right here, now he's gonna get jammed up on that zone chuck, and it's just not there. As you can Ooh. see, we get we still almost made the play, but like I said, the streak doesn't have the same success as the fade. So you got to put Brown on that fade, motion this guy out here. Like I said, I don't mind. Sometimes I put him on a motion snap because um, I think that helps. You can see right here, once again, he's running straight past everybody. He basically just kind of slingshots around that defender. The fade is key when it comes to cover three. Now this play has nothing for cover four quarters, so we're going to skip that until we get to the next play. But we do have a really good series when it comes to man coverage. So let's go and let's start off with uh, man zero blitz. Now this play against man, you really don't have to make any adjustments. The B route is a really good check down, by the way. I mean, that's gonna beat it just about every single time. So you have that against any man coverage. But we want the one play touchdown. So the X route here is pretty much gonna be the play. You're gonna see he just, you know, if you have a fast enough receiver, he's just gonna run past any cornerback. And it's a very easy drop in the bucket. You basically float it up with the X button. Easy one play touchdown against man coverage. I find that this play is even better against a coverage like man cover two though. This is gonna be another scenario where you just put the B route on a streak and motion this guy out. But watch what it does to the cornerback. Cornerback typically comes down in a press look and this route goes completely around it. So I'm gonna cancel that play action, get that ball out right away and boom, we got a one play touchdown against cover two man just as long as nobody catches me. So you can see how glitchy this route is against things like this. Cover two man is typically like a press alignment. That's why when you motion this guy out, he comes down into the point where he's going to press. And then he just gets beat because he can't get his hands on this route. So the second he gets beat around like that, I'm pretty much throwing the ball right away. I mean, that's that's really all I'm reading here is does he beat that press, which he will pretty much every single time. And then it's just about speed at that point. So he's already passed them. So all I have to do is just basically bullet and pass it away from safety, which typically is reacting to the streaking uh, receiver in the middle anyway. So a really good cover to play. Like I said, once you make this motion, see that cornerback drop if the cornerback doesn't drop it won't work if he plays you know the, the defender plays it back or something like that it's gonna be a little bit of a different story but you can see at the very least we have a very explosive play against cover two man the b route can have success as well if you have a fast enough receiver and you have a good enough matchup as you can see right here he's just gonna basically beat him inside and then we have the same look where he can basically beat right over the middle. But Sammy Watkins is not necessarily as fast as, as Hollywood Brown. But you can see how both of these receivers are getting open against most defenses. So that play beats every man or zone. It just doesn't beat cover four quarters. So let's go ahead and let's pick the PA booty, booty wide sale one time, so we can show a cover four quarters one play touchdown. And then we'll go and we'll pick that on defense. This play does a lot more than that, but we're just going to basically run it as is. And you're going to see how this B route here uh, just basically does all the work for you. No adjustments. Once again, a no adjustments cover for one play touchdown from anywhere on the field. Now you can dress this up and make it even easier. If you put the X route on a streak and then put the RB route on a comeback, it makes it even better because the, uh, the safety gets really confused on who his assignment is. And then you can see he's he's open by even more. So, you know, there's ways to dress this up, but it's a it's a no adjustments, one play touchdown. So for people that aren't very good with adjustments, that's probably the easiest way to go. There's a lot of different things that the booty wide sale can do, but we, we're focusing on one play touchdowns today. So in the full breakdown video, I'll probably have uh, more information on the things you can do. But for now, let's go and let's show the last defense that we haven't had a one play touchdown against, and that's the cover four drop. So we'll pick the booty wide sale one more time, and then the cover four drop contain. So I would say just block your tight ends, put the X route on a drag. That's all you really have to do and that will be your check down the x route but the b route here as you can see will have a lot of success getting across uh the cover four uh, as he gets between the cornerback and the, and the free safety that's probably one of the tighter throwing windows uh out of all these plays so let's do that one more time let's see if we can get a little bit more separation and a little bit better timing on the throw because like i said that's really I think I threw the ball a little bit too early there. As you can see right there, that's much better uh, timing on the throw. You basically want to throw it when he's uh, parallel with the safety. Like I said, we'll go ahead and we'll watch. The safety is dropping straight back. He's just trying not to get beat deep. So the best time to throw it is when he's parallel right here because he's sprinting straight back where my guy's sprinting straight across, which is what's going to give him separation. So you can see this time I held the ball a little bit better, or at least I timed it a little bit better to throw it once he's parallel with that safety and that's going to be how you get that one play touchdown so i'm going to end the video there if you guys want to see more from this formation an entire breakdown of this offense which like i said i recommend it hit the like button let me know in the comment section other than that thanks for watching man wish it out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bits and more link in the description below Thank you.